An exciting moment here tonight as finally we will settle some scores. The WWE Universe is extremely excited as we get set for WWE action. Tonight we find out if you reach the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, or if you perish trying to capture your dream. Look into this card. I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Singles match coming up next. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. trying to pull him off, but the, a relentless assault. And now he's calling for some help. Somebody's got to break this up. The damage has already been done. Get him out of here. Michael Cole, Corey Graves, Myron Saxton here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. find a way to fire back. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Beautiful technique. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. He wants no part of the outside. And now Drew McIntyre heads up. superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Oh, kick finds it. 
Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. And yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his... Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old... Ooh, right to the back. That should do it. the shoulder up. Not yet. He knows he's in trouble. Double under. DDT. Blam. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, I am impressed. And now Drew McIntyre goes up the turnbuckle. Look out! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, Drew McIntyre going for the cover. Only a two count. How'd he do that? You gotta believe this one's over. the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Uh, oh, continuing to punish them. Putting it all on the line. Whoa. Oh. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. his opportunity to win this thing. His shoulders are down! Digging deep for a kick out! He isn't going to go away that easy. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more... Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old air raid crash. Wow, I'm just as surprised. As Byron alluded to, Drew, Drew McIntyre gets the win. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Yeah, he's putting in the work. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.
The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, all bets are off as we get extreme. Coming up is a battle that can end up anywhere. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. And we are going to be getting extreme because in this one, there are no rules. Avert your gaze, Saxon. That's another man's wife. Easy. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making her way to the ring from Chicago. Maria Canales is competing against the top women's talent of the women's last two decades in WWE and ready Maria to teach the new girls Canales. a lesson. Champion. Do not underestimate what Maria Canales is capable of. Professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the Larray is cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Byron! Just what I think. You couldn't possibly be any dumber. You go and say something like that, and totally prove me wrong. I thought it was good. You can expect these superstars to put their bodies on the line to take each other down. These superstars have waited a long time for this match to take place. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. Oh, the old Oscar, my favorite move. She had a measure of success in the late 2000s. Many were surprised to see Maria Canales return in 2017. What was even more surprising was that she brought her husband, Mike. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. 
Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Mike, you touched on Maria and Mike Kanellis' emergence in 2017. Well, that year also brought them their first child. But they recently returned with a vengeance. Mike was simply sick of being stuck on the sidelines. So, the Canellis family stormed on a 205 line with every intention of turning it into 205 love. It's not a bad idea at all. Talking with Candace earlier, she half joked that her biggest challenge is keeping up with her husband, Johnny Gargano. Forget about Johnny Wrestling. Let's talk about Candace Wrestling. I commend Candace LeRae for clearly being the one that wears the pants in their relationship. She's talking about not wanting to be an embarrassment to Johnny. She should be more concerned with Johnny being an embarrassment to her. Why do you say these things? Because it's the truth. Corey, you just suggested that LeRae should remove herself, at least professionally, from her husband. Byron, do you feel that's the way for Candace to prove herself to her? She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Byron, I have to believe that Candace's opponent will need to do all she can to keep the tie to the mat, to keep the daredevil in LeRae at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter the Ray's high-flying style with mat-based wrestling and submission holds. Nailed it! Incredible! There's a lot of force behind that one. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Byron, earlier you used the term high flyer to describe Candice LeRae, but Candice doesn't like that term. She prefers to be called a high-risk wrestler, Corey. Yeah, whatever, but she needs to be smart in order to succeed. Candice needs to know that her opponent's going to do everything in their power to keep LeRae grounded. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up. She's still in this one. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Oh, oh to the back of the neck. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match, but what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Control there with a look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, what impact! Solid contact from Candace LeRae. She can pick up the harsh impact. Nice, shut it down. Solid contact from Candace LeRae. Now she just needs to finish her off. They tapped out. It's all over. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. 
Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Nobody can say he didn't earn this win here. Really a solid, bordering on great performance. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Well, the last match did not disappoint, and now we're on to the next match up on the card. It's about to get extreme up in here. Just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. Mike Kanellis makes me want to be a better man. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, Mike Kanellis. Mike Kanellis is a global superstar which is why the beautiful Maria fell so head over heels in love with him. Byron, you should take notes. He also did some miraculous work in the Indies in Japan before joining WWE. in the house and his opponent from philadelphia pennsylvania weighing in at 193 pounds the cruiserweight champion drew the fact is Gulak. drew Gulak is a skilled champion. technician he pays great attention to detail especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy do you know he actually cornered me with his powerpoint presentation explaining how he was going to win here tonight I think this is the first time I fell asleep with my eyes open. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. I believe we're in for some more of Gulak's ramblings tonight for how he's got a plan for a better 205 Live. I mean, I hope not, but I think it's going to happen. Oh, that's the impact. 
They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Byron mentioned Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live, whether it's been picket signs or slideshow presentations on the Titan Con. Gulak has been insistent on molding 205 Live into his twisted vision. Well, I think Gulak has some great ideas. All I hear you two do is criticize him. If you two have any better ideas on how to make 205 Live better, why don't you guys go make a slideshow? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah. What a suplex. The date of September 5th, 2017 may end up being one of the banner days in WWE history. That was, of course, the day we saw the very first slide in Drew Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live. Michael, I can't tell if you're being facetious, but Gulak's love of slideshow presentations did get the grappler noticed more amongst the WWE's Cruiserweight division. Going back to Drew Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live. You gentlemen are focusing too much on the medium, not the message. Gulak demands we have no jumping off ropes, no fancy costumes, no crowd chants, because he knows needling his opponents about those things will give Gulak a psychological advantage. Well, a psychological advantage? I'm pretty sure Gulak is just psycho, period. And he's annoying, too. When this guy's on, look out. I don't believe it. And that table can show you careers, Michael. Oh, he's so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Mike Canales has a newfound focus and determination since joining 205 Live. What's the strategy against this guy? Well, he's reformed himself physically, emotionally, and now he's fighting for his wife and child. This guy has a mountain of motivation on his side, fellas. As Corey alluded to, Mike Canales isn't the pushover he was a year or two ago. How do you combat his newfound passion? You gotta take it back to basics, Michael. Don't make him emotional and don't test his strength. Maintaining focus and working on fundamentals is key to victory here. from the floor. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get a... There's a pin now. There's the pinfall and the victory. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Mike Canellis. Big win here, guys. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.
These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Next up, tag team action. to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds Cole Todd E. Bush and O. Carter Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now so while a win will obviously be huge I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating given the competition right now a loss tonight would be a huge setback Are you friends with Anderson and Gallows? I'd like to consider myself on good terms with them. Because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do they yeah. say? They say, nerd! And their opponent, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. We well, you know what else they probably say about me? They probably say that old Saxman guy, he's too sweet. They literally have never said that, Byron. One of the all-time great tag teams. Legends in Japan. Former tag team champions here in WWE. As big and bad as they come. Their motto has always been very clear. We're here to beat people up and win champions. A couple of good hoots looking to make a trip to the pay window. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. All the Man. budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Irish whip. Well, tag made. What a strike right on the mark.
one of the superstars in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. touched on this before, part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. He gets it with a reversal. I earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gloria Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Braun in the hard way. He's starting to stumble here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh, what a slam. Superstar and their teammate must have that continuity with a little machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh! He's stumbling some now. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Oh. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Up and... Dumping. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Cover here. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Beck. Oh, look. Luke Gallows in position and sends him down hard. Complete dominance. Here's his moment, Michael. And that's it. This one is over. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Check this out. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here are your winners, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Nice.
teamwork by these two here tonight. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. One match is in the books, and we're on to the next. And the time has finally come. Steel cage match coming at you right now. Making her way to the ring from Pennsylvania, B. Tonga Kong. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. A six-time champion. I sometimes question the fact that she's friends with Alexa Bliss. But despite that fact, she's a legend. Cole, it sounds to me like maybe you're a little bit jealous that Mickey gets to spend time with the goddess and you're not even allowed to look in her general direction. Maybe. You too, Michael? Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Nikki James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Definitely an electric feeling in this venue tonight. What a stop. Good grief. Watch out! Buddy pulls off! 
The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even caves stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. All right, we talk about the production of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15 foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. Ouch. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the danger. And it's Mickey James making a move. Mickey James was able to get out of there. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in the steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. What a strike! This earlier, Corey, it's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. And it's Mickey James making the moves. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Look at her go. side Russian leg sweep. Now, she just... They're gonna lock it in here. She's almost out of it. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. She comes up big with the reversal. James was able to get out of there. Neckbreaker. What a stomp. Good grief. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Larian. This is not where she wants to be. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. So she's taking a little punishment here. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Oh, spiking DDT. That has got to be it. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be.
the steel cage match is over and she'll never be the same. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Here is your winner, Mickey James. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, it's about to get extreme up in here. It is time for war. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 247 pounds, Rowe. Well, Roe lives a Viking lifestyle, both inside and outside the ring. One of the toughest men I have ever known in my life. Fought back from a nearly fatal motorcycle injury in 2014 to get back in the game in WWE. If you're looking to get punched in the mouth and stretched six ways from Sunday, Rose, your Huckleberry. is the larger and the more experienced member of the War Raiders, trained by the, the great killer, Kowalski. Whoa! Alongside Rowe, deceptively agile and fast for a man of his size. Member of the tag team in his road rough shot all over NXT and beyond. Oh, 
will jar your spine. using the knee. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. <laughs> oh, man! Vicious strike. Full oh, blade impact. He's starting to stagger a bit. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I guarantee you that the post-game show on the WWE Network will be talking about how he struggled getting out of the gate here tonight. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is! Did you hear that crack? Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh boy, he is real. Oh man. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. The tag team scene around here changed in a big way in April 2018 when Rowan Hansen made their NXT debuts and essentially put every superstar on notice. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Speaking again of Rowan... He's fighting back here. I expect nothing less, Cole. Hooked up. Now, oh, look at the a side slam. Oh, boy, he is wrong. This is going to be big, one way or another. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. This could end it in a hurry. Boom. <laughs> that should do it. He goes for the cover. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Every single person involved in that match should donate their paycheck to charity. Those guys had poor technique and gave a half-hearted effort. Sorry, that just wasn't pretty. Here is your winner, Bro. Extremely impressive win, guys. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time you see them swirl off. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. The wait is finally over, folks, so strap in for the main event. Steel enclosure, check. Amped superstars, check. Looks like we're ready for the steel cage match.
the phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, phenomenal. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, the phenomenal. AJ yeah, it's crazy to think that when AJ Styles Champion. made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is. And his opponent, from Virginia, weighing in at 180 pounds, Negren Butcher. This is great. Steel cage action coming up here, guys. And I have to say, ever since WrestleMania 2, this match has been one of my favorites in all of WWE. And here we go with what will undoubtedly be a thrilling steel cage match. Oh, for generations, the steel cage match has been considered one of the most ruthless matches of all time. That's a Pele kick! Unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds.
You can never count AJ Styles out, but his few losses of note are coming from bigger opponents who countered Styles' aerial attack. If you're going to beat Styles, you need a strong move. Roman Reigns barely escaped their rivalry, but he got this great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. And there's his speed paying off. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Now watch, man, what a slam. To your point, Corey, I can think of another time strength stopped the phenomenal one. When John Cena rolled from an attitude adjustment into a second AA to win their classic match at the Alamo Dome. And you can't forget AJ's match against Brock Lesnar. Styles survived Suplex City, but fell to an F5. Beating Styles requires a lot of power and even more luck. Up, Ushiguroshi. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. That'll knock you loopy, Cole. Beautiful technique. Oof. He's making a statement here with this attack. You gotta believe this one's over. He's in a very bad way here, guys. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. And AJ Styles is your winner. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles wins here in impressive fashion. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.